Oz Ruiz with undefeated NABF super lightweight champ uh, Luis Feliciano. Luis, it's Friday, it's a beautiful day here in Cali. I'm sure you're back to be training with your coach Ben Lira. How's everything going? Everything's good. Uh, you know, I've been back for about a month. I was uh, back home in Milwaukee for a couple months, uh, you know, uh, with the quarantine and uh, just got the time to, you know, sp uh, spend time with my family. Uh, got to meet my nephew too for the first time, seven months. Congratulations. Uh, thank you, thank you. So uh, yeah, it was a, you know, it was good. I was trying to, you know, be productive as possible. It was tough, you know, cause you know, you don't have the, the, the resources, right. but you know, we got by and then that's why it feels good just to be back and uh, back in full work, full grind mode. What's the boxing scene like in, in Wisconsin, in Milwaukee, with all this quarantine thing going on? Oh, well, Milwaukee's just, it's the same. It's, it's been closed down. Uh, I think they're just barely trying, uh, getting open and stuff, the community centers and all the gyms and stuff. So, uh, you know, uh, that's why when I was back home, you know, I, I couldn't do nothing. So, you know, just running, you know, hitting, you know, uh, hitting the pads with my dad, doing some weight work, you know, simple stuff like that. All right. Since your last fight against Herbert Acevedo, a great win, by the way, um, you flew back to Puerto Rico, you spent some time over there, you were telling me about the, the experience of meeting uh, Felix Tito Trinidad. Talk to the five fans what the experience was like. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I got back to California, so I was uh, I spent the holidays in uh, in Wisconsin after my fight with Acevedo. And I, uh, probably around late January, early February, I came back to California and I, got, I get a call uh, first. And I actually made two trips to Puerto Rico in a span of you know basically a week a week and a half right um but uh the first one was because uh you know our town of Utuado, they wanted to do a recognition every year they have a they have a bicicletada every yeah. year where you know uh, people get together and they uh and the they, they ride race. bikes oh, yeah it's right. kind of like a marathon but in in, in riding a bike and uh, every year it's a tradition and every year they 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 honor an athlete or a significant figure and uh, this time it was me, you know, they wanted to they do it for me. You. Yeah, they chose me and they honored me. They gave me a plaque. They presented me. I was kind of like the, you know, the, 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 the figure being honored in, okay. in that, in that, uh, in that bicicletada. So it was a great moment. And, uh, you know, and um, then I, I head back to California and then literally like the next day I get from California, they tell me, hey, uh, they want to do another honor. Right. But uh, this time with Tito Trinidad because they were going to do uh, honor with Tito. Okay. So they wanted to put me, and he heard about uh, what they did in Utuado because he has uh, people that he knows from Utuado. Those, did he know who you were? Yeah, Was, Tito. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All and right. Tito's the one. Hey, make make sure bring him. You know, oh, he nice. thought I was. He how, thought, how did that make you? Yeah, feel? he. Oh, uh, uh, awesome. <laughs> you know, if it was. You know, and I've met him before. I met right. I met Tito when I was 16. So you know, in Utuado. Okay. So again, he he has uh, people that he knows. So he's been following your career. Yeah. Well, it, 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 that that makes me that puts a smile in my in my right. face to be honest. Uh, you know, because that's my idol. That's a very significant figure to me. Um, but yeah, and then uh, so that was that was gonna happen at a uh, at the uh, at, at basically it's like a jeep show in Arecibo, All right. and uh, and it was it was it was awesome. It was you know a great moment. We both got honored. We got on the stage, and you know Tito being Tito, you know everybody is just flooding. Everybody right. wants pictures, you know. So you know you just look back so and you appreciate it, those moments. How did moments. it feel for you to be a uh uh, on the spotlight right next to our boxing legend. If it's, it, it's great because that's what, you know, that's what we wanted, you know, that we want, you know, the people of Puerto Rico to, you know, recognize me and start knowing me who I am, that, right. you know, I want to put Puerto Rico on the map and, and want to represent, every time I get in the ring, I want to represent my, my Puerto Rican people. So it makes me feel special and, and very proud and it's very motivating. So that's why, you know, as we continue on, uh, you know, after, you know, uh, once all this pandemic stuff is over and we get back in the ring, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to have that motivation and, and continue to represent our people. People. So that puts uh, an extra motivation for you to represent your Latino people every time you step in the ring. And you know they're watching. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's what we want. That's what we fight for. Talk to us about the pan pandemic. How how uh, has affected the sport of boxing pretty much the whole world? Uh, you're back here in California, meaning you might get a call from Golden Boy telling you you're up next. Um, when do you think you'll be ready for that for that call for that next fight? Well, from uh, I know Golden Boy, uh, their first show is going to be July 24th. Um, uh, so I think uh, realistically August. That's what we're that that's going to think that's right. going to be the real uh, uh, you know realistic uh, sometime in August. So that's why we staying ready. Uh, you know uh, we just got uh, it's our first week of sparring. Uh, right. We're here working with Cepeda. Um, so you know just kind of it feels good to be back in in our routine, getting back in the motion and and going 100 percent so uh, i think that realistically august is going to be uh our, our our timeline and that's what we're getting ready for but other than that yeah the, the pandemic i mean it's, it's it's been a big blow for not only for the sport of boxing but for everybody right. everybody's been uh, affected and and you know we're just trying to you know get back and uh, uh get everything going again um 
top rank has been doing that for the last couple of weeks. You right. know, they've been putting on shows. So. What do you think about the top rank safety protocols? Um, they're I, saying they don't have the copyrights for it. Anybody, any promoter, anybody that wants to put on a show like they're doing it right now, they'll be more than welcome to share what they're what they're doing. What do you think the experience would be on a Golden Boy uh, card? Yeah, well, I think I think I think it would be similar. I think they're kind of the uh, you know they're 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 the guinea pigs in a sense, uh, right. top rank. You know where they're they're you know everybody's seeing. Okay, let's see how it goes. Uh, you know uh, as far as all the the, the safety uh, protocols, right. the bubble, and yeah. you know all the testing and stuff like that. I think it's gonna be something similar. Um, you know, but again, every every state varies. Every every state has their you know their own uh, health protocols right. and safety protocols and stuff. So we'll see. You know it's gonna be interesting and it seems like every every single time for you know especially with these top rank shows there's something going on whether somebody tested positive right. whether it was a manager whether it was a false positive but with, it's for everyone's safety it, right? the, it, the, the, you know this is so new it's, it's yeah. just we've never seen anything like this so i think uh, as the weeks go on and we'll continue to start still learning about you know what we can do better and you know hopefully i think by july 24th i mean hopefully you know we'll, we'll, we'll have Once something more more, more definitive it. more more concrete and and, and that way everybody could it could you know follow that and, and and get things going uh would it feel a little awkward for you to be listening to ben's voice when you fight because it's gonna be pretty pretty nah, silent <laughs> nah, 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 i won't be awkward at all i'm used to it all right i'm okay. used to it and if he's not saying that that means i'm doing something bad all right so <laughs> so I'm, I'm i'm used to it you know that's you know we have a great relationship a great great chemistry so and uh you know and it doesn't bother me whether it's you know audience or no audience you know at the end of the day, when you're in there, you gotta fight. You know, you you have a game plan and you follow it. Um, with the Fantasy Springs Casino as as the site for Golden Boys' next uh, boxing card, it'll be a little different. They're saying no fans at the venue, but everyone's gonna be outside the casino playing and stuff. Um, so they'll be probably tuning in on their phones uh, via other uh, bars, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff. What's going to be your reaction if you were to fight a Fantasy Springs Casino, even though there's nobody inside the venue, but once you come out, people will yeah. greet you and tell you how you fight. Yeah, it's like it's like they saw it, they right. were there, but they weren't there. Right. But uh, no, nah, it doesn't bother me. It won't affect me again. Uh, you know, I just, you know, I, I feel like that's where uh, mentally and you have to be focused and, you know, the audience won't, won't dictate. When you get in there, the audience doesn't dictate anything, you know. Yeah, it could play a benefit to right. you or it could be, you know, against you, but, you know. At the, at the same time, you know, you just gotta, you guys just gotta get through it and and, and be focused and, and like I said, follow the game plan and it, it won't bother me. It won't be no effect. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, you know, this is uh, we're in unique times right now, so we just gotta deal with. Do you like the fact that Golden Boy is working again with Top Rank on a regular basis? Uh, Joshua Franco just became the next Golden Boy champ on a Top Rank card, so it'll be. It looks like it's gonna be like a regular thing for Golden Boy fighters to fight against top ranked fighters. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I, I'm all I'm all in for that. You know, and that not only with top rank, but with all the other promotional yes. companies. You know, uh, uh, PBC and you know Matchroom. You know, fighters fighting like it's like the old days. You know, where right. you know you didn't have all this you know political divide. Yes. You know, among the co promotional companies. Um, I'm all I'm all in for it. You know, you got different fighters, different prospects fighting each other. Uh, you know, world champions fighting each other. I think that that only makes the sport even better. You know, and okay. especially times like times like now where you know. Uh, you know, everybody wants to see great fights. You know, everybody's uh, very hungry for that, and and uh, you know, so everybody just wants to be entertained. So I think that that's really good for the sport of boxing. You're an NABF super lightweight champ. That means you have a regional title. Anybody out there that would like to fight Luis Feliciano? Anybody in mind? What's well, who? yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's uh, plenty of people that want to fight me. They want a chance at the belt. But uh, uh, as of right now, again, I, you know, I'm confident with my team. Uh, we always go. Uh, we always want to make a uh, uh, that step forward. So you know, I'm not. I'm never a person to you know call anybody out or you know if they throw me a name and they say, hey, you know, this is what you know that's my team wants or whatever. We're, that, that's how we determine things. So. Uh, you know, there's nobody specific. At, at the end of the day, I know that my, my plan is to eventually, you know, hopefully within a year and a half, yeah. fight, you know, for a world title, get crack those uh, top 10 rankings and, and, and get a title shot. So that's what we want. Uh, so, and that's still the goal, pandemic or not. You know, the, that's the goal. So that's what we're aiming for. That's what we're striving for. And that's why every fight is very important. We continue to make that step forward. You're pretty active on Twitter. I've noticed that. Uh, do you interact with your fans or any other boxers out there? Absolutely. Yeah. I, you know, I, I, I try to be as uh, transparent as possible with you know all the boxing fans. You know, and 
and uh, you know that's just the kind of person that I am you know and uh, you know I love the sport of boxing and and you know I'll talk about anything online whether it's you know whether it's baseball, politics baseball anything baseball back. yeah but you know boxing you Milwaukee basketball Brewers, we'll be playing. Milwaukee Brewers Milwaukee Bucks Green Bay Packers I'm a uh, big sports fan right. so you know I'm all in about that you know so uh, so uh, yeah I, li I like to communicate with fans and you know so I, I, all the negativity though, I just I, I don't pay attention to that. Uh -huh. You know, I won't respond to that. But you know, if it's something positive, I, I'll you know I'll get back with a thank you. Okay. Thank <laughs> you very much for your time. Any any uh, messages for the, your body? Body Qua people. No, Go thank ahead, you. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, you know, we'll be uh, God willing, we'll be back in the ring soon. Uh, we're we're hoping for August. So I just want to thank you guys for the support and uh, continue uh, get things going and continue that momentum that we had in 2019. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time, Luis. Luis Feliciano, super lightweight, NABF super lightweight champ, waiting for his return to the ring sometime in August. Thank you very much, Luis. Thank you.